might have made a video of this, might have didn't, but a while back I bought a fuel sender for the wagon. It's Chinese made. It's 200, yes, $250. I found this one, same part, from Miami, Florida. $50. 50 bucks. Made in China, same thing. New design, well, you know, cheap pipe. I actually painted it, I painted it silver. A little more rust uh, prevented. Prevented, blah, 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 blah. whatever. I painted the top a little bit too. I'll do more. As the newer style, um, whatever, fuel sender, or gauge, whatever you want to call it. It's just a basic resistor that goes up and down. These are supposedly a lot more accurate. Um, you know, all new wires you get, all that, nice connector, harness, Chinese connector, all that good stuff. But, uh, yeah, 50 bucks, first 250. So that has to go in the car because the fuel gauge is totally off on that thing. Um, here's your part number. See, there it is right there. Made in Ching Chang Chong, China, part number. Sexy you guys selling an NOS one. Probably original manufacturer made in America still or Canada. Um, but they actually had two different style senders on these 9193 cars. See the little canister? That's where the fuel pump goes. This is what it originally in the car. The other one, I think they only had it in uh, 91 maybe, it was open. It's like uh, my truck would be. And it's just open and has a little like rubber, um, rubber basically foot, I guess you want to call it, or stopper that the pump sits on, so just so it doesn't rattle around, you know, it's not going to be making noise. Isolator, that's the word I'm thinking of, that would be rubber isolator that um, it has. So, that's the design change, pump goes in here, bottom, pump comes out, you got your um, sock, so I just got to swap my pump over, and this is the uh, the hose that the uh, the pump goes to. A little pressure, it's only throttle body. The 94 to 96 cars have the same design, but they have like a nylon hose. But this is what was strange. Where was it? Oh, here it is. Um, a little tiny hole right over there. Can I see it? Hard to see. Like right there, hole. And that would be the return line. I don't know why that's there for. I'm gonna have to see if my factory one's like that. If it makes a difference, I don't know. You know how much fuel is really gonna be spraying out of there. A little bit will. And I'll be spraying out over here on the connector. <laughs> awesome. That's China for you. That's the um, the vent right over here. I say I don't know if whatever those can go bad too. Cause that's not really a service part. But I got like really 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 high pressure that tank all the time so I'm thinking maybe that could be bad on my sender and um, there's really no way to replace it but that's what we're up against you know there's our fuel lines right there that's um high pressure return and that's the vent and the tubes are just so cheap on this thing too they can just wiggle delivery which way thin gauge but that's what we got 50 bucks you know how can you complain I did uh Test resistance. Um, what's this? The um, purple is the sender. It's gonna be sender resistance. Black's gonna be ground. The uh, gray one's gonna be fuel pump power. So you just put your multimeter on resistance between the um, the purple and the black, and then cycle this and. Fully at the top, it reads 90. At the bottom, it reads zero. Some of them can read up to 95 ohms on the top. 90, I think that's gonna be fine. The one that I had in the car, I screwed around with, cleaned it up a little bit. I got it down to like, I think two ohms when it was all the way at empty, and when it was maxing out, I think it was at like, yeah, it was actually way past full. It was over like 100, so it was just totally messed up. But uh, it's an easy job, I'd say hour and a half, taking my time, plus with the car shuffle. But again, saving, if you look around for parts, you'll find the same Chinese garbage for less. And um, anytime it seems like you want cheap car parts, you find them 
in Miami, Florida, or New York City, New York. That's where I found my stuff. Even though I was living in New York, I found shit in Miami, dirt cheap, all the time. It's crazy. But, uh, so we're up against new sender. And I contacted MSD about a 96 coil wire, and look what they sent me. 96 coil wire has this style connector on both sides. This one only has it on one side. I need a straight one that goes into Opti. I need a 90 degree like this on this side. So they sent me the wrong wire. I told them like five times. I need this connector both sides, but it has to be a 90 style of this. Do they listen? No. And there's the other style sender I was talking about. It is the overall finish of it. Looks better than the Chinese one, but it does not fit. See, it doesn't have that canister in the bottom. And it might have a different angle, too, on it over here. I'm not sure. It might. See it over there. Way better quality piece. But they don't make it anymore. Everything's made in China.